Okay, so, um, I'm working on my kick flips. Uh, I can kick it out, but when I kick it out, my back foot always hits the ground. And when I try to catch it with my back foot, my front foot always goes straight down. So, yeah. Great. So thanks a lot for sending your video. I really do appreciate it. And I'm going to do my best to help you out here, okay? Cool. So it looks like first you're going to show me a few ollies. First one looked all right. Looks like you just need to work on getting this down a little more solid. Because definitely you're getting the board into the air. And then the first one especially, you leveled it out okay. But when you land, it just doesn't look comfortable. So I really want you to just get really, really, really comfortable with your ollies. Learn them riding, push around. Ride that skateboard around. It's so, 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 so important to do these tricks before you get into the kickflip. If you get into the kickflip before learning all of these, it's just going to be really, really hard. So I just really try to make a big point of going through each of these steps I know a lot of you guys have heard this like five billion times, but I just want to make sure you understand the purpose of it is so you're ready okay, so to do the Okay, so here's um, me trying to just do a normal one, trying to um, catch it just normally. Cool, so now we're going to get into your kick flips. Cool, so that doesn't actually look that bad. On that one, your front foot went out, it was up. And your back foot is just kind of kicking off back off of the back of the board, which is something we need to work on, obviously. And here's me trying to catch it with my back foot. Cool, and I do appreciate you showing me like flipping it and catching it with your front foot and then your back foot. But again, on those previous tricks, you're not quite ready with your board okay, control. Okay, thanks. Hope you can help me. You're not quite ready with your board control to be learning the kickflip, so that's going to really, really, really work against you. But let's look at what you're doing here. So you flick your front foot, and it goes straight down, and that's only when you try and keep your back foot up, which I do understand. But this is the one you should practice and learn first. So on this one, your front foot goes up into the air, which is better, and you just got to be able to kick it a little more out in front of you. Like you want your foot to go up and then out to level out the board, just like you would level out your ollie. You're gonna kick out in front of you to level out your board on the kick flip. And hopefully that's gonna suck your board up into your back foot. So it's kind of interesting that you showed me those two different steps of the kick flip, cause I don't think I've ever gotten a video where those two steps have been shown. But the thing that you're not doing and the whole purpose of practicing those two steps is so you can put them together. Like when you flip off of your front foot and you keep your front foot above the board, that's good. And then when you flip off with your back foot and you keep your back foot above the board, that's good too. But you completely change the way that you're flicking the board so that you can step off with your front foot and then with your back foot. So if you're gonna kick out and up, just make sure that you're continuing to kick out and up when you go to put the whole trick together. Because the purpose of doing the step off to your back foot is to learn that kick out and up. But when you step off with your front foot, it's to learn the catch. So being able to put those together will make you get the whole trick, you see? So you have to flip up and out with your front foot while keeping your back foot above the board but with that flick motion right there, you also have to keep your front foot above the board. But before you even get started on the kickflip, again, do those earlier tricks. I know the kickflip is really like, you really want to learn it, and it's such a cool trick, and it really is, and it feels amazing, but you have to get there on the proper gradient. Skateboarding Made Simple takes you through the entire gradient. It is a full video. It's about an hour long. And that's why it works so well, because it takes you through every step. So I highly recommend getting that video and doing every single step. Do not skip a step. Do it all. So that's going to help you out a ton. Thanks a lot for your guys' help and support. You guys are the best.